so I am making the chili lime chicken burgers tonight for dinner. So I've got my uh, pan here heating up. It's pretty much heated. I Okay, just added some avocado oil spray. This is a hot mess. I'm gonna season it with just a little bit of Tony's and um, just cook them up in the pan. We have some brioche buns. Actually, I forgot I got these out. So we're gonna use these from Target. They're 140 calories a piece. And like, seriously, they look amazing. So really excited for those. We have other like toppings and all of the things to go with it. Okay, not starting off great. I forgot to film the end of this recipe, but the chili lime chicken burgers are to die for from Trader Joe's. Give it a try. And while you're here, maybe like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. Okay, y'all, I started some dinner. This is just zucchini, red pepper, fresh, and then some frozen mixed vegetables that I just had in the freezer. It was like, not even, probably a fourth of the bag or so. But I wanted to use that up and bulk up the veggies because I'm gonna try to stretch this for two meals. I might dig through the freezer and see if I have um, any more of this that I can chunk in there as well. We're just gonna use microwaved rice. Um, and I have some chicken tenders. Ooh, fogging up here. I have some chicken tenders in the oven. Morgan is gonna have his with Spanish rice. I'm gonna do brown rice with vegetables and like an Asian sauce. I'm just on a kick, you guys. I can't help it. All right, so put a lid over these. Ooh. Just on about medium heat. And we're going to turn it down to low, so that we're almost there. Add a little soy sauce. I like this one. I'm going to let this soften up just a little bit more. The chicken's got about five more minutes, and we're going to cook up some rice in uh, the microwave. Okay, y'all, this is my plate. Yes, we're eating on paper plates, whatever. Um, I just dumped the whole bag of um, brown rice, like the Uncle Ben's microwave one, onto the skillet and then divided it in half with all the veggies, added a little extra soy sauce. It's amazing. Then I did five ounces of chicken and about two tablespoons of this gyoza dipping sauce. This stuff is delicious. And... Calories aren't bad at all. Two tablespoons, only 30 calories, and it is flavorful. Seriously, I feel like you could use this as a salad dressing. It's that good. It's that good. And there we have it, dinner for tonight. On this night, we tried the Parmesan garlic turkey meatballs. These are from Target and they are delicious. They have quickly become a favorite in our house. Anytime I do the grocery shopping at Target, I pick these up. You can have four meatballs for 200 calories and 22 grams of protein, which is awesome. They're already like pre-seasoned and delicious. You don't have to do anything to them. Just bake them up and you're ready to go. On this night, we served it with mashed potatoes and green beans, but they would also be great on like a meatball sub or a pasta, anything like that. If y'all are a convenience carb person like I am, the roasted garlic mashed potatoes, this flavor is to die for. Super simple to throw together. Here are those turkey meatballs. You can see I cut one open just to make sure that they're done in the middle and it was delicious. I also just microwaved these green beans. Super simple because I'm talking convenience, y'all. All about that on weeknights. Microwaved the green beans to add a little bit of our favorite Creole seasoning and this was delicious. Okay, y'all, we... Um... <laughs> <laughs> we cooked dinner. Uh, we also meal prepped at the same time. Morgan cleaned the kitchen, so we are eating on paper tonight, but honestly, I'm not mad about it. We have these delicious meatballs. They are amazing by themselves. So good. They don't need any seasoning, but I'm adding just a little bit of the Sweet Baby Ray's sugar-free barbecue sauce. We've got some Italian cut green beans and the mashed potatoes. Looks delicious. And that's dinner for tonight. All right, y'all, we're about to sit down to dinner. We are having our amazing glazed salmon. I will link this recipe for you down below. It's on the blog. This is some butter garlic rice, some green beans. Morgan's having the same, but his glaze this time has sriracha on it. So that is something new. One of y'all suggested that. 
and Morgan is a huge sriracha lover, so we're gonna give that a try. Mine doesn't have it because I'm kind of a wimp. Got dinner started, and I am making four of the spicy jalapeno chicken sausages from Trader Joe's. These are so delicious, one of Morgan's favorites. 100 calories and 11 grams of protein each length. And I'm serving it with the Peruvian style chimichurri rice. This stuff's delicious. Um, it cooks up really quick on the stove and it has a ton of flavor. So good. And I'm also gonna serve it with a side salad. So we've just got the chicken sausage. I like to cut it into like thinner little pieces. And then I'm about to add, I just dumped this in here. I'm about to add two tablespoons of water to the rice and I'll show it again when it's done. This is also in my Trader Joe's five ingredient meals video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it below, but it's a fave of ours. All right, y'all, tonight for dinner, we just made some simple chicken tenders. I used garlic ranch and a little bit of this Creole seasoning that we just got at HEB as a free sample. It is spicy, so I just added a little bit. We've got some mashed potatoes, side salad. This is mozzarella, romaine, tomato, and a cucumber ranch by Bolt House Farms. And Morgan did lots of that seasoning, super spicy. Okay, y'all, tonight I'm just making dinner for myself. I'm gonna have the riced cauliflower stir fry from Trader Joe's. I'm so excited. I'm also gonna try the pork gyoza pot stickers. I've had the chicken. I'm sure the pork is gonna be just as delicious. You just pan fry these. They're really good. Also gonna have some of these stir fry vegetables. I already have those um, down in this pan. I'm gonna cook the rice right alongside it. I'm going to season that with a little bit of soy sauce. And then I'm going to use the dipping sauce for the pot stickers. I might also make like a spicy mayo for the top because I just think that sounds kind of good. So we'll see. All right, here is the final dinner. It looks awesome. I did seven of those pork pot stickers, which is one serving, 230 calories. We've got the cauliflower rice and the vegetables. Then I just whipped up a quick little like spicy mayo with some mayo and sriracha. I'm gonna kind of drizzle that over the top. We're ready to eat. Legit, so good. I could eat this every single night and truly this is the best cauliflower rice that I've ever had. I actually, it took me a long time to find the Trader Joe's stir fry. I've had it from like other places, um, but it was always like, it was like sold out for a while and then I kind of forgot about it. Delicious. It is definitely the best flavored and then just a little bit of soy sauce, perfect. It doesn't even feel like I'm not eating rice and trust me, I'm not a cauliflower replaces everything type of gal. Truly, I eat real rice almost every day, but this is amazing. Um, and then these are so good. The pork pot stickers, amazing. So all of this, seven pot stickers with um, the spicy mayo on top and two tablespoons of the gyoza dipping sauce to dip those in is 413 calories. So this whole huge bowl of food, hand for scale, this is a, a larger bowl. 413 calories, I can't believe it. So if you need a low calorie lunch or a low calorie dinner, anything like that, this is a really good one. And it is gonna be so filling, I'm already halfway, like I'm not even halfway through and I'm like, oh yeah, we're getting there. So I'm super excited, definitely give this one a try.